in our investigation of the classification of the animal kingdom, we're going to look at mollusks and a class of gastropods, and we're going to look at land and water snails. We've all seen a snail wandering around, and we're going to look more closely at uh, all of their features, including the movement, a unique uh, single foot, and the snails seem to glide along on this foot, lubricated with mu mucus. You may have seen the slightly shiny trails left behind for several hours um, after they have uh, moved across uh, with repeated contraction and relaxation of the muscles along the foot in a wave. Uh, and the shell, the outer shell is protection. Uh, it's um, mo most of them are made of calcium carbonate and they grow as the snail grows, and most have right-handed coiling. And all of the soft tissue of the snail can be retracted into the shell for protection. And here's a diagram of more detail on a particular type of land snail. And then uh, under the, uh, the shell, uh, most of it is covered with a, the mantle, which covers all of the major internal organs. And you can see some of the skin sometimes just on the edge of the shell. Uh, for sense organs, we've uh, got the eye on the end of uh, tentacles. Uh, it's going to have a lens. And uh, some snails actually have a second set of tentacles but with smell organs, olfactory organs. Um, for eating, there's a mouth um, up at the front, at the head end, um, contains a radula, a rasping tongue-like structure, a row of teeth. And on the right you've got uh, a drawing done by Robert Hooke, who did a lot of early work with um, microscopes and cork cells uh, in the 17th century. And there he's showing uh, uh, the sail, snail's uh, jaw. And for nutrition, uh, the uh, most land snails, and indeed uh, a lot, most of the uh, aquatic snails, are herbivorous. Leaves, fruit, fungi. Well, the water ones it'll be. Um, uh, algae and other soft plant material um, underwater. Reproduction. Um, many land snails are hermaphrodite. And they have both male and female sex organs, and you can see them in the, in the diagram. But there's usually cross fertilization during copulation between uh, a pair of snails. Uh, respiration for the land snail, there's a lung, there's a respiratory pore, and uh, the land snails are going to be air breathing. Some of the water snails, or uh, snails that spend uh, an amount of time in water, um, are actually, actually have lungs and obviously have to come to the surface for air breathing. A lot of the water snails uh, have gills, um, and so they're going to get the oxygen that is dissolved in the water, not the O in H2O, but oxygen that's been dissolved in the water. And then just pause this uh, slide here and have a look at the labels. A little bit later on, you've got the activity to relabel, to identify uh, as many of the parts of the, uh, the anatomy of a snail as you can. Uh, so familiarise yourself with uh, the snail's body parts. And here we look at an aquatic uh, snail. Uh, these are sea snails, so uh, live in, uh, in uh, salt water. Uh, some of them are very large. This particular spiral shell um, can be 90 centimetres or, or longer. And uh, here we have um, an aquatic uh, freshwater uh, snail um, who's going to have, have gills. 
And there's the apple snail. Uh, this one or one of them, or no, both of them are eating a soft stemmed rush. Um, but these ones are air breathing, so they'll come out of the water for breathing. An un unusual one here, uh, which is a scaly foot snail. And these particular ones live deep, two miles deep in the ocean, um, hydrothermal vents. This particular species uh, is only found in the Indian Ocean. And some, again, early diagrams of uh, snail anatomy. Uh, you can identify some of those uh, labelled lettered parts. And then you've got this one uh, to pause and to number and name as many of those numbered regions as you possibly can. And so you can pause that. And also for educators, cross-cutting concepts with ecosystems and the carbon cycle um, to search out uh, those links. And then when you want uh, answers, uh, you can uh, go uh, on to look at the responses. Uh, but thank you, Team Science at Washington International School for support and uh, lab use. And here are the answers. The solution to the labeling the diagrams and uh, you'll need to enlarge this one, but uh, the same labels in an awful lot of languages.